This is a just a catch-up video again. Not really a catch-up this time, but kind of uh, for you guys that watch my channel for truck repairs. I am going to be doing some truck repairs. This is right now like the third day of March and uh, in St. Louis area and it is supposed to be winter still but we're having a couple of unseasonably warm days and um, we still have some slop out here a little bit but it's starting to dry up we had a lot of snow and rain over the last couple of weeks and um, it's starting to dry up some so I got a dentist appointment today and um, so I asked dispatch if I could just have the rest of the of the week off this is Thursday and uh, so Friday tomorrow is supposed to be warm today is supposed to be mild not really warm it's going to be a high like in the low 50s but that's good for this time of year and uh, it's supposed to be warm tomorrow and Saturday like up around closer to 70 I think and um, anyway brought the truck home to get some stuff done and let's see if we can see what I got written on this I got okay it's hard starting I uh, got to deal with that and um, fifth wheel adjustment headlight issues I got to deal with tarp box door I uh, got to grease it and check the brakes and the fluids I've got um, two heated mirrors that don't heat anymore and I actually did not go to work one day because uh, there was the ice was so thick after freezing rain that night on the mirrors after about 10 minutes of scraping and it was like single digit temperatures I didn't uh, I didn't fight with it I just went back home and so I did buy two new mirrors to replace those with but never put them on sway bar under cab well I don't know what the proper name of the thing is I'm just calling it that I'll show you what it is and uh, and grease the tag axle bearings that's a big job um, because it's not it doesn't have liquid grease you got to take the bearings apart and grease them by hand the headache rack is loose that what I'm calling a sway bar it's not what it's called though but there's one on the axle that's starting to get loose I got to double check that today exhaust pipe fuel filters these are just a few things I jotted down uh, yesterday afternoon when I decided I was going to stay home uh, this week the rest of this week my exhaust pipe I put an extra clamp on it here's the clamp that holds the flex pipe onto this down pipe from the turbo I put an extra clamp on it to, to uh, patch up a broken spot and uh, just to buy some extra time because you know in the middle of winter you just don't want to fight with a job like this so I got that <coughs> alternator we got alternator work I did take this alternator off and I went inside and fixed it and put it back on but um, and I'll do I did that on camera but what I got to do is uh, is part of that alternator video it's going to be a separate video of course I put a rebuilt alternator on here because I just bought it on Amazon for relatively cheap price but it didn't work it was overcharging seriously overcharging so I had to take it back off put the old alternator this one that wasn't working put it back on go home in the middle of the day and uh, go in my shop fix the alternator and then uh, and I actually did it on camera I did it for about I spent about an extra hour on it did it on camera and uh, and put it back on the truck and so I'm going to show what was wrong with that rebuilt one that um, that was overcharging I'll show what was wrong with that and I'll show the procedure of uh, rebuilding one of these alternators so let me go back around here I'm trying to see if my camera's still recording I can't see out here in the daylight I'm gonna put this list back in the truck so I don't, so I don't uh, lose it. This thing I call the sway bar. 
Okay, I don't know if we can get the camera on it or not, but it's gonna be right back in there. And it's, it's back behind there. And what it is is, if I rock the truck, you hear that hitting back and forth? It's that bar under the cab that has the bushings are gone in it. And we got another one on the uh, on the drive axle back here that's doing that. Okay, it's like this bar right here. That one right there that comes across to this side. Okay, that one is, is I think that one's okay, but the one on the back axle has a it's getting loose. This thing here rattles. It's loose. I'm gonna try to tighten that up. The door on the tarp box is broken off, so we gotta get the aluminum welder out and fix that. Um, back here on this tag axle. Okay, this has solid grease bearings in it, and I gotta take them out and um, and hand pack those bearings on both sides. Got to do that at least once a year. So this is just a quick unedited video to show some of what needs to be done. Here's where you can see that this bushing on this bar is getting bad. We'll check it a little closer. I can't do all this work in two days um, off of work, but I'm going to check all these things out and see which ones are at their worst and uh, try to get that fixed. Um, try to get some videos up for you guys because I am working full time, more than full time, and it's cold out here. Uh, and I don't like cold. So that's why I don't uh, do very many videos in the winter time that are, you know, it's gonna take a lot of time. Have to be out here a lot longer moving the cameras around and, and explaining everything I'm doing. It takes two or three times longer to do a job that way than it does to just do the job with no cameras. So that's why I don't have as many videos as I used to because I'm working a lot more hours and you know, had a big project with that mobile home. Well, that's done. I mean, it's at a good stopping point. There's always more to do. And I still gotta rebuild my rental house. It's it's a real in real bad sh shape. I gotta do that, and same thing over here. My the house that I moved out of. I bought a trailer. That white one behind the the. This thing, this dually that used to be a pickup, now it's a dump truck. I bought that trailer to get some stuff out of the garage and out of the way just to store stuff in there. And uh, that helps out a lot. Get some room to work in the garage. Well, that will be my uh, video for now. Just showing some things that I will be doing and most of it I'm going to try to do on camera. Uh, well, thanks for watching.